designed for NCA level 1 mechanics, this is pressure. During this video we're going to be looking at this flashcard here which you can get a free copy of from sciencescribe.co.nz. In level 1, pressure we're just going to be dealing with applying a force over a certain area. Be aware of the symbols, we've got capital P which is for pressure, not power, and the units for pressure is in pascals, capital P with a little a, we've got applying a force, so that's going to be newtons, and you have an area which is going to be in meters squared. Now suppose if I had a person standing on the ground with both their feet with a mass of 70 kgs. This means that their weight force is 700 newtons because F equals ma and the acceleration due to gravity is 10. If you've forgotten that, head back to the force flashcard. So he's got a weight force of 700 newtons and let's say that the contact area between his feet and the ground is 550 centimeters squared. Now if I wanted to work out how much pressure there is between the feet and the ground, I have to first convert the centimeter squared area to meter squared because this formula P equals F over A, for area the units must be in meters squared. So I've got in the flashcard some unit conversions that you can use. So we, to change centimeter squared to meter squared, we divide it by 10,000. So I apply the formula P equals F over A, We've got the force weight of 700 newtons, not 70 kg, 70 kg is his mass, divided by the area in meters squared gives you 12727 pascals. Don't forget to stick your units in, physics is really really big on units. Now let's say we gave this guy a pair of huge boots and let's say those huge boots don't change his mass and they don't change his weight force, so we'll say it's negligible, purely hypothetical here, but what it does change we'll say is the contact area between his feet and the ground which we'll say is now going to be uh, 750 centimeters squared which if we divide by 10,000 again using the area conversion gives us 0 0.0750 meters squared. If we wanted to work out the pressure apply the formula P equals F over A again. His weight force still stays the same at 700 newtons. The area is larger now and you can see now that even though the weight force was the same in both cases when we put the shoes on, there was a larger contact area and that meant that his pressure decreased. And that's why I've got that second bullet point there. If you've got a larger area with the same force, you'll have a smaller pressure.